And as we can see. <laughs> Potential disaster here for Daniel Negrano. Well, he'd be better off if he misses this hand. Oh, would he ever. Here's the river. See the river? Here it comes. Well, it's a six. Well, that's a tricky card. And look at this, a $500,000 bet by David right here with nines full. Oh, so casually. Now that's a good sized bet here. When the pot's only 540000 it's a pot sized bet. It arouses the suspicion of Daniel. What he's thinking is, what's going on here? You didn't raise before the flop. You didn't bet on the flop. Now all of a sudden you're going to go crazy here? Well, he did check raise on the turn card. Daniel was not a believer. You don't play like that, do you? Well, you just can't figure it out. You can't put him on an ace. <laughs> I haven't seen you done it yet, but... Half a million dollars to Daniel. And remember, folks, he's only got king high. But the way this pot was played, you can see the look on Daniel's face. You got a nine? I don't believe it. Don't talk yourself into this. Maybe you got seven, eight with the eight of spades. Oh, Daniel. Beat that. You have no idea. Hey, Daniel's trying to put him on a hand he can beat. He's got me curious again. So curious. All right, I call. Whoa. He calls a 500,000. His timing couldn't have been more off here. I didn't think he had just a nine. But give David Williams credit here, folks. The guy slow played it before the flop. He slow played it on the flop. And now he made a big bet at the river to conceal the strength of his hand a little bit. It confused Daniel. Daniel paid him off with King High for a half a million bucks. Well, he is putting a little white picket fence around yeah, Daniel, and he is feeding him carrots. <laughs> well, right now, I don't think Daniel is able to eat anything. He's lost his appetite. <laughs> You're watching the Borgata Poker Open here on the World Poker Tour. I think Daniel is one of the best, if not the best, in the world right now. He's the player I fear the most at this table. I mean, I wanted him to make it because I love the guy, but I hoped he came in real short and could go out quick, you know, just so I didn't have to worry about him, because I think I'm an easy target for him, maybe. Welcome back to the Borgata Poker Open here in Atlantic City, where we are down to heads-up play. A macho test, Mike. Let's get back to the table. All right. And right now, David Williams has built up to nearly a 3-to-1 chip lead over his opponent, Daniel Negrano, and Vince, he's done it by outplaying him. He's done it with the worst cards by betting and taking the pot away from Daniel. Here we go again. It's going to be on Daniel. This time he peeks down at 4-3 of clubs. Nice suited connector. Now he's going to raise with it. Yeah, makes it 120000 to go. David looks at a king six off suit. Well, he's got 60,000 out there. He's on a roll. He's going to call 60,000 more, so we're going to have a flop. Man is relentless. A flop comes jack seven deuce with two clubs. David checks. All right. But Daniel checks the flush draw this time. He is going to slow play the on-the-come draw. Here we go with the turn. Well, nine of diamonds comes on the turn. That helps neither player. But David Williams is going to bet. He leads out and bets 150000 Now Daniel with a flush draw, but there's only one card to go. Another fine mess he's gotten himself into. So he's called $150,000 with a small flush draw. A call and a prayer, no doubt. Try to turn the momentum around. Can he do it? Here comes the cash card. Well, it's not a club, but it's a four. How much do you have? Yeah, it, uh, a scary question. 1.2, 1.3. 1.2, 1 1.3. I'm all in. David's going all in. Oh. David goes all in. You see the disgust on Daniel's face there. Oh, he quickly turns it down. And a bold all-in play, but to ask your opponent how much you got first when you have nothing and then to move all in on him, that is some poker you're watching here tonight, folks. Well, you are just watching a Negrano derailment. That's what you're seeing. He's just being violated with bets by David Williams. It just doesn't end. Well, right now, he's got to feel like a punching bag, Vance. You know, he is down to a mere million dollars compared to David Williams' five million. Come out, that's sick. Another turn of events. Action's going to be on Daniel. And right now, he's going to look down. He's got an ace-deuce this time. 
Well, he limps in on the button with it. Look at this. Oh. David's got the lady. He's got a pair of queens. Finally picks up a big hand. He raised it 200,000. Really? Not that he needs a big hand. This guy can play anything and make it work. He can taste it right now. He sees the title at stake. He sure does. David looking like the Terminator sitting there. He'd like to terminate Daniel on this pot. Well, he's got a chance here because Daniel's called it. Daniel makes the call. Is he going to get lucky here? It's two queens versus ace deuce. Here comes a flop. Here comes a flop. Oh, lightning for Daniel. He's flopped three deuces. And it's nine. All in. Deuce. What's that? All, all in. There. I call. David goes all in. Yes. Daniel quickly calls. Oh, Daniel's loving this. David has queen. Oh, Daniel no. Deuces. Oh. Well, look at David. You can see the disgust in his body motions. I almost went in before the flop, but I said, oh, you had some. David was thinking the trophy was going to be on his mantle. It's a nice-looking flop. You can't put your opponent on a deuce when he called a quarter-million-dollar raise before the flop. Unbelievable. <laughs> but there's two cards to come. David could still hit a queen. Yes, he and can. take this tournament title. Well, he's not going to do it on the turn. It's an eight. No help. No help. So right now... David Williams must catch a queen to win the tournament right here. He's feeling a queen. I can see it. He's feeling one. <laughs> here comes the river. Nope. Well, it's a six. Daniel Negrano doubles up here. The race is back on, Benny. Well, as we said, folks, it just takes one hand to get you back into a No Limit Oldham tournament. Now, all the stuff that was going against Daniel early on, wipe it all out now. It's about time I hit a pair. <laughs> well, first to show you, you can lose 28 out of 31 pots and win one and you're back. I mean, you go figure. And he's not a well, finally, a reprieve for Daniel Negrano. Getting lucky to hit three deuces on that flop to double up. Will that put a little pep back in his step? It usually does when you double up at a final table, that's for sure. See if Daniel can keep it going. David Williams trying to shake that off, but right now it's going to be back on Daniel. Takes a look at an A6 this time. Well, again, he limps in on the button with Ace High. Yes, he does. Now, David's got King 4. He opts to check also, says give us a flop. Well, the flop comes up Ace, Queen, 10. Daniel's hitting his aces. And David with the straight draw. David checks. Daniel's going to bet the aces. He bet 60,000. Oh, so casually. David's going to call him with a gut shot straight draw. He is going to dabble here. Turn card coming up. Oh, and he's hit the straight. A jack comes off. Oh, and he's going to trap. He's checked it. But Daniel, too smart for that. He's checked behind him. Yes, he has. So off to the river we go. And a six comes up, giving Daniel aces up here. 200. And David quickly betting. Yikes, man. Seriously? David's bet 200,000. Daniel has aces up, remember? Gee. But you see the frustration in his face. He senses his opponent made the straight, and he's sick oh, about man. it. He got aces up. Got to give this one to you, too. And he yeah. does call him. Oh. David shows him the straight. And that is just a dismal feeling for Daniel there. Well, it is, Vance, but you just wonder sometimes if you get a little too cute trying to slow play those aces. Well, that is true, but Daniel coming back slightly. Stay tuned. We'll be right back for more Heads Up Action here on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We are in Atlantic City for the Heads Up Action at the Brigada Open. And right now, David Williams has a little over 4.3 million. Daniel sitting on 1.7. Back on the young 24-year-old Texan, David Williams. Well, David looks down at Queen-7 offsuit. Yes. He's going to raise it. He raise. is fearless. Yeah, makes it 285,000 to go. And look at this. Daniel, buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, because he has the great ones. Two kings in his hand. Finally getting that quality hand. Well, the question is, how is he going to play him? He is taking his time. Yeah, looks like he's getting out some raisin chips, and I don't blame him for raisin here. Every time he's tried to make a cute play, it's backfired. And here comes Negrano. Let's get back to standard poker. Let's raise it with these kings. That's what he's doing. And he's raised it 450,000. Back to David. Looks at his measly queen seven. What can he be thinking about now, Vince? 
I mean, I know he's taking pot after pot away from Daniel, but still. The guy's raised you 450000 You're the chip leader. You're in command. Yeah, but the middle name of this guy is Trickery. He's going to call $450,000 with Queen 7 offsuit. Folks, that means that you are running good when you think you can win a pot like this. Getting it ready to scoot him in? Just looking. <laughs> looking to see what I got left, buddy. Now, Daniel says he's looking to see how much he's got left. Now, see, David should be able to pick up on that and know that he has a very strong hand right now. Yeah, but that's uh, interesting Look. because sometimes when a player acts eager and excited, he's usually weak. Uh, he looks strong there to me. All right, here comes a flop. We know he is strong. Here it is. Flop is jack five deuce. Just getting stronger. His king's way out in front. See how Daniel's going to play it now. He's going to bet 400,000. Yes, he does. Now remember, there's a million and a half dollars in the pot. Now what's David going to do with it? He's just got a lousy queen seven at this point. I'm all in. I call. Look at this. He's going to take a step. He's going all in. He's gone all in. Daniel quickly calls with the two kings, of course. Well, he tried to bluff this. But I'm not sure that was a good time to bluff at all, Vince. There was so much money in the pot, Daniel only had 500000 left. I believe he would have called him with just ace high there. How much you have left? How much is that? Yeah, I can get it ready. Seven, eight. 860. Well, you can't be right every time. This time, David Williams needs a lot of luck with two cards to come. Well, he's got to hit two runners to win this pot. He yeah. must catch a queen or seven on 4th Street and then another queen or seven on 5th Street. Otherwise, Dan is going to double up nicely and take the chip lead. Well, if he should win it, he would be the champion of Brigada. Here we go with the turn. That's it. Well, three comes off. It doesn't matter what comes on the river. Daniel is going to double up and take the chip lead again. Well, Vince, I got to tell you, in my opinion, here was a case where David Williams was running in the open field and fumbled the ball. And I believe if he goes on to lose this tournament, he will look back at this hand right here and recognize this was the turning point. Let's take a critical look at this hand. All right, David Williams raising before the flop with Queen 7, but Daniel coming over the top with a pair of kings. Yeah, Daniel raised at 450000 there. Here's where I think David made the first mistake, was calling that $450,000 re-raise. Flop comes up Jack 5 deuce, no help to David. Now, Daniel bets 400000 here, and here's where the second mistake of David's is. He moves all in right here. He didn't calculate Daniel only had 500000 left, and there's like $3 million sitting out in the middle of the pot. Whatever Daniel had, if he just had ace high, I believe he would have called in that spot. Bad calculation by David right there. He fumbled the ball in this hand, in my view. Well, you can't blame a guy for trying. Well, he did try, but he made an easy error on that play. The blinds have gone up to 50 and 100,000. Right now, it's anybody's game. Action's going to be on Daniel. Daniel looks down at a jack eight of diamonds. He's going to raise it, make it 300,000 to go. Into David. David's got queen eight. See if David wants to play ball. Well, he got in trouble a minute ago, calling a raise with a queen seven offsuit. Here he opts to call with a queen eight offsuit. So jack eight versus queen eight. Flop coming up. Now flop comes ace, queen nine. David checks the two queens. David checks. Daniel checks the gut shot straight draw. He's not going to fall for it. Turn card coming up. Well, a three comes off. Again, David checks. Oh, he's going to make Daniel bite here, it looks like. Daniel's going to try to take a stab at this pot. He bets 300000 He's putting in the nibbler. And David's going for his chips. Raise. Oh, he's going to raise it. Daniel's shaking his head. He said, why didn't I check? And he's putting up the white flag. Crying uncle here. <laughs> check. <laughs> he continues to check. He knows when he's beat. Well, he's frustrated with himself there, Vince, because he could have checked, tried to catch that 10 for free. Yeah. Instead, he gave away 300000 in the process. Traps everywhere here at Pagata. And what a seesaw battle we've seen in this heads-up match. Daniel started out with a chip lead. Then David took a big chip lead. Then Daniel came back. And right now, it's anybody's game. You're right. It is a horse race. And it's going to be on the young Texan, David. He's got eight, four of spades. Cool. Just going to call the 50. Daniel with an A6, not going to raise it. Here we go with the flop. 
Clapp is ace-king three.